Hey guys, Chris Grandy, coming to you. Happy New Year. So glad you're here. So glad you're watching my video. So glad we're able to share some great ideas. Today, I want to cover the SECURE Act, particularly the part about the change in the RMD age. So we want to get to that. I also want to cover, just brush on some other things too. I, I hope you can check out my other videos, especially my entrepreneur interview series. I want to spend just a couple seconds saying, I run into so many people, entrepreneurs, people who want to be entrepreneurs, people who are in corporate, want a change of lifestyle, want more freedom. And they're, they're, they're talking to me about, you know, having their own dream of things they want to do. And my entrepreneur interview series kind of is, I get excited about listening to entrepreneurs, how they started and, and how they're running their small business, not, you know, not their big company. Um, and, and I started doing these interviews to kind of maybe help people for, so I could get inspired, but also to help you Fit, you know, just learn different ways you could run a small shop. I mean, so many people want to have their own little bakery or they want to uh, do consulting, have passive income, etc. And it's helpful to have inspiration. And, you know, it's nice to get, you know, to, you know, hear an interview with with somebody who started some $85 billion company, but it's also really cool to hear somebody, you know, that, that's got a local business that's successful and they're doing really well. So that's that. That's what that's all about. So check out my entrepreneur interview series when you get a chance. Um, I'll try to link some of those videos to this video so you can click on them. But back to our topic for today, the RMD age change for the SECURE Act. The SECURE Act is a, uh, uh, was a change in a lot of uh, retirement. It's setting up every community for retirement um, enhancement or whatever that is. And gosh, I'm blanking on that last E, but it's, it's one of those ridiculous congressional acronyms so that it fits neatly into the word. And... Um, and there's a bunch of tax code changes that could be helpful. Some of them, you know, are big changes that are a little bit negative, but some of them are positive. And they attached it to the budget bill. And one of the provisions they changed was that they changed their age, that you're required to start withdrawing money from your retirement accounts from 70 and a half to 72. You know, that age is the required, for you is your required beginning date is what they call it. And the amount of money you have to take out on your required beginning date is your required minimum distribution, RMD, or minimum required distribution, MRD, depending on what article you're reading. Um, so they change it from 70 and a half to 72. So what does this do? Well, if you're 60 years old, it just means you can wait another year and a half later on before you have to take money out. If you're 70, 69 years old, same thing. You don't have to take money out next year. You, gotta, you can wait until you're 72. For those of you, what I, what I found was interesting about the change in the act was for those of you that turned uh, 70 and a half in 2019, let me give you an example. If you turned age 70 and a half in July of 2019, you have an RMD due for 2019. Okay, they look at your balance from the previous year, December 31st, 2018, and they say, okay, there's the balance. They do a little uh, multiplication factor on it, which you can find on the IRS website, the, the RMD tables. And usually the uniform table for most people, and it gives you a figure of what you need to take out in 2019. So for those of you that, that say, turned 70 and a half in July of 2019, you had to take money out. If you haven't yet, you have to April 1st of this year to do that. So make sure you, 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 know, you, you talk to your CPA or your planning team and you, and you get on that if you haven't done it already. But you, if you took out your RMD, What's interesting is that was you had to do that, but now the tax law goes into effect for January 1st, 2020. You are this year, you're going to be 71 and a half and you're not 72 yet. So you're not going to have any RMD this year. And then, you know, and then starting in, in next year in 2021, you're going to turn 72 in January. You're going to have to take money out then. So you're going to have two required be beginning dates. Under the old rules, you had to take money out starting in 2019 and under the new rules in 2000. 21. So it's kind of interesting just to be aware of. I thought that was an interesting nuance. Wanted to, to be aware of that. Um, let's say that you're getting close to your RMD age or you're, you're in RMD age, but you still work and you'd love to stop taking money out because you don't need the money. You're working, you're collecting your salary, you're paying enough taxes as it is. Is there any relief for you to have to take money out of your IRA and pay those taxes? Yes. Um, if you have a 401k at work, you can take money out of your IRA, roll it over, tax, you know, a tax deferred exchange, roll it over, tax deferred rollover into your 401k. And starting next year, you won't have any RMDs as long as you keep working because the tax rule law says that if you're working for a company and you're not the owner under their rules, there's some certain stipulations, you're not the owner, but if you're working for a company like IBM or Blue Cross and 
you have money in the 401k and you're still working, even if you're 78, 80 years old, you have no RMD, all right? Um, so you, if you have an IRA though, even if you're still working, you will have RMD because the IRA is not attached to your job. So you're gonna have RMD there, but by rolling that money into your 401k, um, you can avoid it going forward. So let's just say uh, you're, you're, you're watching this video, January 2020, uh, and you uh, just heard this great news and you said, gosh, Chris, I'm still working. I'm 75 years old. I have an IRA and a 401k and I, I don't wanna take money out of my IRA. I don't need the money. I'm sick of paying the taxes on it. What do I do with it? I'm gonna roll it into my 401k. It's a great idea. It could really work for you. But before you do that, just know that um, they look at prior year balance. So they're gonna look at the December 31st, 2019 balance, which you have some money in there. And they're gonna calculate your RMD and they say, you're gonna take some money out um, in 2020. So what you need to do first is take out that RMD, all right, for 2019, then roll the money over and then next year and going forward, you will not have uh, to take out RMD because you're IRA balance will show zero on December 31st next year, you know, this coming year. So um, great technique to do that. So what I wanted to do is say, okay, if you, you, to summarize, what I wanted to say was the RMD age is changing. You gotta be aware of that. You could have two required beginning dates. Could be a little tricky to make sure you, you know, work with the right people. Uh, but also too, if you're still working, I gave you a way to possibly avoid that. Overall, just completely avoid the whole thing. So uh, again, it doesn't work if you're, if you're the owner. So if you have your own consulting business and you have your own 401k, you are the owner of that business. You cannot delay your RMD. That's, that's one of the way the tax rules really punch um, self-employed people in the gut. I don't like it. I think it's crappy, but you know, hey, things they can get away with when you're not paying attention, right? Um, but if you work for a large corporation like IBM, you're not the owner, or Blue Cross, you're not the owner, or Oracle or something like that, you can do this. You can roll the money into the 401k and avoid the RMDs on your IRA as long as you keep working. So uh, that's the summary. Hope that was helpful to you. Just a little change. Uh, there are some other things I wanna talk about. I do wanna get into other videos I plan to do uh, on the qualified charitable distribution. I can't tell you how many people uh, don't seem to understand the benefit of, donate, of, of giving charitable contributions directly to charity from your RMD and how that can benefit you in multiple ways. I wanna do a video on that and some of the other changes in the uh, SECURE Act, including all you know, 529 changes, et cetera. So stay tuned. I want to do some more videos on that. If you have any questions, just uh, you can go uh, drop them down below or you can go to my site, Plan With Chris. I have a, 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 a contact section. I also have a intake section. So if you think you want to see if we might be a good fit to work together, you can fill my intake form in. Uh, it's like the Work With Chris link. And you can click that and see if we, you know, then that'll give you an idea what your situation is. And then we can talk and see if we might be a good fit. In the meantime, if you like the video, click like. If you want to subscribe, please do that. It lets me know that, you know, some of the stuff I'm talking about is helpful. And I will try to be back with soon with more videos in my entrepreneur inter interview series and also with uh, some planning ideas that can be helpful to you. So thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for coming by.